everyone. It is Tuesday, May 16th, and I thought I'd do another one of those like day in my life vlogs because you all seem to really enjoy that, which makes me so incredibly happy because those are my favorite types of videos to do right now. Hearing that you all enjoy it makes me very happy, so thank y'all for that. But I figured I'd record like today and tomorrow, so Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, my days aren't that exciting, but today is kind of exciting because I get to photograph a concert tonight. And not only do I get to photograph a concert, but Luke, my husband, also gets to photograph the concert with me. So we'll be uh, photographing for two different outlets. He has his own outlet, and then I have another one that I contribute to, so we'll both be there doing that, which is exciting. It's for the bands Beartooth and Trivium. I have photographed Beartooth several times, and I've only photographed Trivium once and it was at a festival, so I'm excited to see them like at an actual smaller venue. I've seen Beartooth several times, at a smaller venue. Seen them a few times at festivals too. Festivals are not where they shine. Venues are where they shine. So I'm interested to see how Trivium is, because uh, again, only seen them at a festival. Super excited about that. I am that person though that has to over plan. So like I checked all of my cameras last night. I checked my memory cards last night. I have batteries charging right now, like a plethora of batteries. Whereas my husband will do it like two hours before the show. He's been doing it way longer so I'm still like in panic mode where I'm like oh god I gotta make sure everything happens and like goes well and things like that. I also end up getting nightmares. <laughs> Every night before a concert I end up getting nightmares because I'm like terrified something's gonna go wrong. I'm terrified memory card's gonna be corrupt. I'm terrified batteries all of a sudden gonna be dragged. Terrified whatever lenses I have aren't gonna focus or anything like that. So I get very nervous and scared that things aren't gonna work out, and they always do. And I have like eight batteries. I've never gone through multiple batteries. Even for shows where there have been like five, six bands, I've never had to swap out batteries. Not even at festivals. Actually, no, that's a lie. I think I did have to swap out batteries once at a festival. I overplan. I have a lot of extra. I have to look through my memory cards. However, that does remind me, I was looking through all my memory cards last night and one of the memory cards has photos on it still from before pandemic, the very last concert that I photographed, which was funnily enough, Beartooth and Motionless in White. But the photos from that concert are still on that memory card. I'm like, I need to wipe this at some point because that was 2020. That was three years ago. Those images are three years old. Like I need to wipe it at some point. But I also have a problem with that because I'm like, ooh, what if I didn't transfer everything? And you know, like maybe there are good images on there that I missed the first time around and I don't want to delete them. So I need to go through all of my memory cards and just like make sure everything that I want is on my computer or on a hard drive so I can actually wipe those memory cards. But I do have enough space on memory cards right now. Please don't take a shot every time I say memory cards, batteries, anything like that because y'all, you'll be drunk before this video even really takes off. So right now it is 9.46. I got about 14 minutes until I start streaming over on Twitch. In case you didn't know, I do stream on Twitch uh, typically four days a week. I usually start around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And recently I've been going later because starting ADHD medication, I can get focus and a little bit of energy later into the afternoon. My typical time is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. But again, I've been going to like 5 p.m. recently. There was one day that I did almost a 10 hour stream just because I had the focus and the energy to keep going. Uh, but today, because of the concert, I need to end right at three so I can go take care of things around the house as well as make sure all of my gear is ready to go. And then hopefully we'll get our daily walk in before we go. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here prepping everything before I start streaming, eating my breakfast sandwich, which I haven't been able to finish breakfast recently just because the ADHD medication kicks in like as soon as I start eating it and I either get hit with nausea or just not hungry. So I eat as much as I can, which sucks because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of food. But it's just a, it's like an egg sandwich that I make with sausage, fried egg, cheese that is kind of fold it over and then English muffin. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting things going so I can start streaming. And I do have my little helper here. He usually sticks with me while I stream. You know right, baby? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually wake you up. I didn't think you'd wake up. Can you say hi? Tell everyone that you look a boy. Everyone usually knows that you You're not right. You're not right. You're a boy. Yeah. Love you. Hello, it has been several hours since I last update you all. 
on the day, but it is now like five something. Currently, Luke is in the shower and everything, but I am charging my last little bit of batteries that I'm gonna take with me for the concert tonight. I uh, finished streaming and have done a few other things that I have been putting off doing. Doing my hair right now to put it up because I don't want it down for the show tonight or anything. Also throw on a little bit of makeup and now I'm drinking some Gatorade because I'm pretty dehydrated and I don't want to get there tonight and be dehydrated. Uh, what time is the show? I don't think we're gonna go for the two openers or at least one of them. Not necessary to cover them but all right, so the show starts at 6.30, which means doors are at 5.30, so the doors open in like 25 minutes. Um, normally when I've gone in the past, I go for all of the bands. I've learned that the publications that I shoot for don't care if you go for the openers, they just want the big ones, which is fine. I get that. We'll probably go a little bit later, but the show actually starts at 6.30, has two openers, and then it has the two big acts. So we'll probably go whenever Luke feels like it, because he's done this more often, so he knows like how to allot for time and stuff like that gonna eat some Biscoff cookies that I got on the airplane the other day that I never ate. And then just make sure that everything's packed up and ready to go. I have my all black outfit on. That's like one of those like unspoken rules for concert photography. They're like, you should wear all black. I don't usually abide by that, but I did put on some black jeans today. So I am wearing all black right now. I'm matching Spock, who's next to me parting. Hopefully it all goes well tonight. I'm nervous. I get nervous before every show, just in case something messes up. We shall see. Also, here's a fit check for the concert tonight. Wednesday, is it May 17th? I am so tired. <laughs> we got home from the concert super late last night. I didn't record anything else after doing a few snippets from the concert, which there's a story to come along with that once I do a few other things, but I am currently battling a potential migraine. It's been with me since last night, since we left the concert, and I thought sleep would help, I thought Tylenol would help, I thought caffeine would help, nothing's helping, so that's how I kind of know that it's a migraine. It's one of those things that just lingers. So I haven't been super productive today, other than editing vid- or not videos, edit in photos from the concert, but decided to take a little break, actually put on some clothes. Got a new shirt from the concert last night. I only bought one shirt because merch can be pretty expensive, but I really liked the colors for this one from Trivium, so got that. But I am gonna tackle something that I feel like a lot of people can relate to. And I saw a TikTok one time that said that this is like an ADHD problem. I don't know if it's specifically an ADHD problem or just someone who doesn't want to do tasks that they should do problem. But do you have like a chair in your bedroom that becomes your laundry chair. Like all your clothes just kind of go into that chair. Okay, I have that chair. It's right over here with my really messy vanity. Ta-da, here it is. Don't look at my vanity. It's disgusting. But this is my chair. Also, all my bras hanging on the door back there. Wow, real life. But yes, this chair is the bane of my existence right now because I just keep tossing everything on it. I'm actually gonna move the bras now. Don't even wanna pay attention to that. What is this? What is this mess of a 
th in existence. So I'm gonna transfer everything to my bed. We're gonna do like a little transition, maybe. I don't know. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Um, and we're gonna put it away or put it in the hamper, whichever one it needs. So we're gonna turn that into something better. Just so you can get a close up of this hot mess express. Like it's in the chair, it's on the chair, it's falling on the floor. It's great. I mean, I really need to work on this too. There's so much I need to do. I just, I don't have the motivation. We're gonna fix this though. It's all now on the bed. The chair is cleared, except for lint rollers, but that's beside the point. So this is everything. That was all my chair and now needs to find a home. That's another task over there that I need to eventually do is clear out my little clothes rack. That's supposed to be like things that I wear all the time, but now it's just become like a catch-all. I need to fix that at some point. I've got so many things I need to fix, but right now this is the first thing. So can we do like a little transition thing, you know, like where you snap and it folds itself? So like, okay, well, at least that looks better. But now to put it away. We'll do it. another snap, maybe. Ta-da. I put it away. And I actually put it away. I didn't just move it back to the chair. It's actually away. So that's one thing I did. This will eventually get cleared off. But it's about as cluttered as my mind is. So you know what? It makes sense. And now I get to enjoy some Taco Bell. Crunch wrap. Yay. All right. It's been several hours since I last saw y'all. I just put a warhead in my mouth. And for some reason, this flavor is exceptionally sour today. I don't know why. This flavor usually isn't for me. But it is right now. Anyway, I suddenly have a burst. <laughs> Chester says hello. I suddenly have a burst of like, motivation focus to tackle that thing over there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, is kind of clear that out. Would you kindly come up here and say hi? Thank you. What? What? Can I help you? What? You good? He's good. But yeah, I have focus and motivation to actually tackle that now and basically take things off the rack that I don't wear like super often because that's the whole point of that is to have things there that I kind of find myself gravitating toward more frequently than other things. Damn this warhead is sour. I'm gonna take off the things that I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of especially this summer. Can to help me? No? Ivan what about you? Buffy? Anyone want to help? No? You go, boy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start pulling things that I know I'm not gonna be wearing anytime soon. Like, for starters, this really fuzzy cardigan coat thing. Ain't no way in hell I'm wearing that this summer, so that's gonna be pulled aside and I'll find a place to put it until fall, but yeah. So I'm just gonna pull out things like that or like this that I specifically wore for a New Year's Eve stream. So things like that, I'm just gonna pull them out lay them on the bed, and then figure out what I'm gonna do with them from there. significantly better. I can actually move hangers around now without beyond like things are kind of sticking to each other and what have you. I left a few like sweatshirts here because I do like to wear those when I lounge around. Got a few tops here and yeah got most of my body suits here as well and like oversized t-shirts. So yeah it looks a whole lot better over there but now let me show you what I'm working with that I pulled off. Also I didn't mention it before but if you could hear something it's a fan. I apologize. Over here we have like three piles of things so this one is just all the stuff. This is going to be things that either go into my closet, go into storage, or given away. Over here we have this is like all of my stuff from Killstar like dresses and sweatshirts and stuff like that. I can't remember the last time I wore these like I'm not getting rid of them. I just need to find like a home for them. And then over here are my G Fuel t-shirts that I have. 
or like anytime I want to wear a G fill t-shirt, which isn't too often because they are kind of tight fitting and I'm more of a um, oversized t-shirt girly these days. So yeah, now to do something with these. Taking a little break from doing my closet organization, which actually turned into some closet organization. I don't think I mentioned that. Decided to go in my closet and pull out things that I want to donate and get rid of and then things that need to go in storage until the appropriate weather. Luke is outside right now about to grill some burgers so I'm gonna cut the air fryer on and put some fries in there because air fryer fries are really good and it doesn't require me to use the oven. But we also used this last night after we got back from the concert and I never cleaned it so I'm gonna do that real fast because that's a little disgusting. I mean, I probably could get away with not cleaning it since it was also fries that we made last night, but it probably would be better to clean it first. And it's really bad because I definitely asked Luke like five times how long he needs to fix the burgers. I don't remember what he said. And I know I asked him multiple times, but I could not for the life of me tell you what he said he would need because I was gonna time doing the fries in line with his time for doing the burgers. But could I actually pay attention and listen to anything that he said? No. Here's our little air fryer. We don't have a very big one, but it does the job and I love it. I can't imagine life with an out an air fryer now but i'm gonna go ahead and preheat it i always preheat it to whatever like temperature that i'm gonna set it for and then i do like three minutes and then it just kind of warms it up so it's not trying to get warm while also trying to cook the things in there so i just do three minutes on whatever it is that it needs to be on so we'll come back in a minute so i have been working in my closet a little bit my shoe organization is absolute garbage and the bad thing is I got rid of 50 pairs of shoes. You couldn't tell though, could you? You can't tell. Look at all these shoes. What the hell is this? I wear like the same five pair. Kind of organized this area. And by organized, I mean I just pulled out sweaters that I will not be wearing in the summer. I did organize this a little bit as well. Made it a little bit neater. Haven't done that yet, whatever. Haven't done my dresses. We're just not gonna talk about the upper part because that is a tragedy as well as a travesty. Uh, I haven't really worked over here as well, but hey, I made progress in some area and I'll take that. That's that's a win in my book. However, what is not a win is um these sweaters that now need to go somewhere because I pulled them out, but I don't have a bin for them because the bins that I have I already have sweaters in them that I want to get rid of, but I haven't gone through those sweaters yet to determine which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I am going to get rid of. So I may have to sleep on the sofa tonight. And then down here is the start of the giveaway pile. Don't look at my dirty carpet. I swear I can vacuum it and five minutes later it's dirty. All right, back to the fries. It has preheated. I did 360, but it definitely was supposed to be 400 for this bag of fries. I was thinking about another bag of fries that does 360. But this calls for six minutes at 400. Okay. And then we start. So it's not technically time for the kitchens to be fed, but they are very vocal and it's only six minutes early. So I'm just gonna go ahead and feed them because they're being pitiful right now. Look at them, they're, just they're withering away. Can't you tell? <laughs> Why? Y'all are so fussy. And then, of course, we have to feed this guy, boy. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You want your dinner, baby? You want your dinner, baby? Yes, we do. There you go, big stuff. 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 Look me burgers, and they look delicious. He's the chef. But they look really good. And you put cheese on them. hoping they're good. And they're super melty. All right. I have officially finished with all of the closet organizing that I want to do right now. I did end up putting the Killstar dresses and things back on this rack just until I can find like a better place for them, but it's fine because there's plenty of room now. These are all the sweaters that it's kind of hard to see because it's a little dark in here right now. But these are all the sweaters that I need to pack up, but for now they're going to stay in here. And again, redid some things in here, so that's cool. And 
I actually have now two bags of clothes to take to Goodwill to donate. So that's pretty cool. This was totally unplanned. So you know what, I'll take a good old closet makeover, a closet declutter. I didn't actually record the decluttering part. You at least get to see this. I'm not showing up any further because it looks atrocious when you look up. As someone can't attest. What? What? Chester, get out of the closet. Yes. What? I love you. Yeah. Here are the two bags ready to go to Goodwill. All right, so I am that person that gets an attachment to things that really don't need to have an attachment to them. Like, I mean, an emotional attachment. And one of those things that I have an emotional attachment to are clothes. Let me mute the TV real fast and explain this. So what do I mean by I have an emotional attachment to clothes? I have a hard time getting rid of things. I just do. And it can be inanimate objects. It can be like little trinkets or anything like that. It can be clothes. All I know is I have this really awful problem of developing an emotional attachment to these things. And I can talk myself out of not getting rid of things. And like last, was it last September or something like that, I finally went through my garage with my mom. Thank God for her because I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself. And we went through, also I just noticed I'm not wearing any jewelry today. I feel naked now that I'm aware of it. I needed her help to go through everything in my garage because I wouldn't tackle it on my own because I knew that if I got in there by myself, I would be like, oh, I remember when I got this and I'd reason with myself why I should keep such a thing. I do the same thing with clothes. And so I have a real hard time going through my closet, going through my clothes, anything like that, and being like, okay, I don't need this anymore. I can get rid of it because I'll look at an article of clothing and I'll be like, oh, I remember when I wore this for such and such thing. And like, I can link every single piece of clothing to a specific time in my life. And I talk myself out of not getting rid of things. When it comes to donating clothes, I've gotten to a point now where I can pull clothes out, throw them in a bag. That's as far as I can get. I've had times where clothes will sit in bags and they just sit there and they just stay just like that. And they never make it to the donation section because I still have a hard time parting with them. So what I have found to help me is that as long as I'm not the one going to the donation place to give the clothes, I can release them. So what I do now is anytime I wanna donate something, whether it's clothes, trinkets around the house, what have you, Luke has to take them for me. He happily does it because he likes to see me kind of decluttering my life, you know, decluttering my space, cluttering my mind because he sees that it stresses me out. And so he happily does that portion of things where he takes whatever it is I wanna to donate to the donation place. And then that way I am able to part with it. Does anyone else do that? Is that just, I hope, it, I don't think that's just me, but I wish I didn't put emotional attachments to things like that because it makes it so difficult. Like I look around my living room and there's a bunch of stuff that I, should, could and should get rid of. But then I look at those things and I'm just like, I remember getting this, or I remember where this came from. And I remember how I was feeling at the time that I got this and I just can't get rid of it. And I don't know why. Also my hair needs to be washed bad. It's a floppy mess right now. That's the whole thing with me donating anything. So I've at least gotten to a point now where I can put the clothes in a bag, put them to the side. And as long as Luke then takes them and I, I can't even like watch him put them in his car because then I'll be like, oh wait, let me look at what's in there again. Even though I just looked at it and was like, yes, these things can go, but I'll talk myself out of it. Also, hopefully you can't hear the talking in the background. Luke left his TV on and I don't wanna mute it. So this part may not make it into the video if it's too distracting, but yeah, that's where we currently are with that. So I thought I'd give you all a little rundown on <laughs> What happened at the concert last night? It wasn't anything like bad. It was just a little bit stress inducing. Last night, Luke and I got to photograph a concert together. It was Beartooth and Trivium. I think I mentioned I've gotten to photograph Beartooth a few times and I've gotten to tr photograph uh, Trivium once at a festival. So I was really excited about this. We get there and when you go for a photo pass, you go up to like where Will Call is, give them your name, give them your ID, and they'll usually have your pass waiting for you that whoever put in for you uh, has left there. 
So the person is looking through the list of names and she hands us our pass and is like, this is only good for one band. Your name's not on it for the other one. And this was happening to like all the photographers that were there. So really long story short, because it took a while to like get any kind of confirmation or anything like that. Basically what happened was miscommunication and our names were supposed to be on both lists, but for whatever reason, it only got put on one list. We ended up being able to photograph both bands. So that worked out. It was very stress inducing for like an hour because we're like, are we even gonna be able to photograph the other one? It was just a miscommunication thing, simple fix and everything like that. And it all ended up being just fine. So it was just a little bit more stress inducing than necessary. Anyway, I am gonna end this vlog here as I do my nightly skincare routine with a little extra. I gotta put like a little pimple patch on because I have a pimple that's forming, but it hasn't like come to surface yet. And the Mighty Patch brand has come out now with specific patch for those pimples that haven't quite surfaced yet. And you kind of want to nip them in the bud early. I'm gonna be trying that. Hopefully that does something. But I thought I'd end the vlog here with me doing my nighttime routine. Is it not a patch? No, it is a patch. I'm confused. Oh, well, maybe it's not a patch. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm running out of time because this memory card is not very big. But I do appreciate all the love that you all gave me on the last day of my life or days of my life vlog. I enjoy doing the like everyday type thing. So I'm glad you all enjoy it. But that is going to be it for this vlog. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye everyone!